What's up, God? Okay, so this reading will be for Earth signs, last but not least. I'm going to start with Capricorn, then I'll do Taurus, and then I will do Virgo. Um, Capricorn because my son's a Capricorn. <laughs> I'm not even going to say because Cardinal, because my son's a Capricorn. Anyway, so I'm going to pull some Oracle to get all of our energy. But before then, my little spiel is Tarot is not a dictator. Tarot is a guide. Tarot is guidance from spirit to physical. Spirit, tarot leads us to better understanding, should confirm already what we already know within our own intuition and spirits. Guiding us and leading us to better decision making. And preparing us for things that are happening in the near future. Or that's really important. Um, and answer the questions that we have along the way. Now, tarot is not a one or two way street with me and spirit talking to you. No, it's a three way street. Meaning, the message comes from spirit. The message comes through me as a vessel. But you're also a vessel who is also intuitive. So you have to use your intuition and your brain and your knowledge and your connection to decipher the code as it pertains to your life as it resonates with you. Again, so another thing is today is September 27th. I'm reading the energy today, but it may not resonate today. So take it as it resonates, as it pertains to content, and as it pertains to time. And if you want something more personal and specific to your situation, order a personal reading or catch someone live and ask the question. Um, this reading was brought to you by AshleyGillard.com, my website. It's where I offer readings. It's where my books are. It's where God Apparel is. It's, it's where um, I'll be delivering my spiritual content. Gym Body TMC my fitness line where I'll be selling fitness apparel I'm just getting started I have a store I haven't gotten all prepared yet I'm waiting on revenue coming and using all the money that I have to build it but you can check me out gymbodytmc.com if you would like to place an order I have some teas some white teas gym body in progress large leftover medium small a couple gym bodies as well that's available right now for purchase all right let's get it Try to get this done for all three signs within 30 minutes if I can. Again, we're starting with the sign of Capricorn. And we're seeing what message. We're just seeing what message Spirit has for us today. Oh, So we have miracle, perception, isolation as the oracle guidance. So both of these wanted to show us up. So I just put this right there. So perhaps... We need to look at our situation from a different perspective. Maybe a miracle is festering. Uh, a miracle is on the way and manifesting. Um, but maybe we don't see it. Something we're not seeing. I want to read this isolation card. Isolation. Isolation is... This card denotes wealth and an ability to do anything well. Trust and loyalty are indicated. Sapphire also has a great capacity for healing. <laughs> so abundance, the ability to do anything well. What I'm getting, everything I touch turns to gold. Everything you touch turns to gold. With miracle here and isolation here and perception. Better times are coming. Maybe you don't see it, um, but if you change your perspective, you will see that a miracle is, this is the perfect time for a miracle. This is the perfect, you're in the perfect place for a miracle. So let's pull some cards and see what comes up. I, I do wish you guys have a great day. Um, I wish you abundance and prosperity all these cards came out well i'll be damn <laughs> my hair <laughs> hot mess but it's gonna be a, a hot mess it's gonna be like this Ooh, for movement so maybe things are stagnated right now maybe things are stagnant maybe you know the opposite of what you want to happen you feel like it's happening but nothing maybe you want something to happen but nothing is happening trust things are moving forward even if you don't see it. Yeah, you may be feeling heavy burden right now because of your responsibilities. Maybe your responsibilities you feel like are too much to bear. 
you know, Capricorns are pretty responsible. I don't know what may be going on in your life right now, but maybe whatever it is, it's causing you a heavy burden. You feel like your responsibilities are too much to bear, but a miracle is on the way. Oh, view it from a different perspective. You're in a perfect place for a miracle, and I'm going to keep saying that throughout your, um, don't lose your willpower. Keep going. Don't lose your willpower. Keep going. Just think of it as a finish line. You get the most tired when you're almost done. You know, when you first start, you like, okay, you're getting started. Then you get the energy, you get going. Then you're almost there. You might want to speed up a little bit before you start slowing down. And you're almost there, and then you want to quit. No, you're almost there. Go faster. Don't lose your will. Keep going. The burden may feel like it's too much to bear. But this is a perfect time, place for a miracle, and it will happen. Keep going. Interesting. Then we have 6-9. With 6-9, I'm saying um, balance. Balance yourself. Balance your masculine and your feminine energies. And what I mean by that, put in the hard work, put in the dedication, have the passion in there, put the inspiration in there, put the faith in there. Keep having faith, putting positive energy out in the universe, positive spiritual energy. Pray, whatever, however you balance your spirit. Pray, stay in a positive energy and flow. Remove yourself from negativity and doubt. Know that a miracle is brewing. A miracle is cooking right now in the oven. You're in a perfect time to eat it. You're in a perfect time to receive this miracle. So continue to work hard and balance in both energies and aspects of yourself. And it's bringing abundance. Then you have the tower. Once you do that, you you keep working hard, you keep you keep the faith and you balance your faith and your works, you're keeping the faith and you're working hard, big major changes come. Big major changes. Prosperity, abundance. And I wanna um before um well yeah, I'll do this first. So continue to have strength, remain in your power, stay strong, opportunities is near. You'll be in your power soon. So you're in your power now. Keep working. Keep working hard towards your goals. Whatever responsibilities that you have that you feel like it's a heavy burden, it's going to get better. And I'm not, that's no cap. It's going to get better. Um, yep. What, what, what came out is four of wands, union. Balance them energies. I'm telling you, success, achievement. Um, and then you have the eight of pentacles. Keep working hard. Success, six of wands on the bottom of the deck. Six of Clubs is the Six of Wands in Tarot. I'm telling you, it's about to be lit for you. Keep going. We want this miracle to manifest. So don't give up. Keep going. How long has this been? I'll give you a couple more minutes. Should I pull some, I'm going to pull some cards. I'll put the chariot there. Forward movement. Continue to move forward. Win the war. Wow. And on the chariot card, you have the yin and the yang. Like, for real, you're doing very well balancing your energies. You're doing very well, King of Pentacles. You're doing very well, um, ooh, King and the Queen of Pentacles. This is a partnership, too. You could be working on one thing and boom, a partnership manifests, too, or, or a new beginning in your partnership if you're already with someone manifests. You got the King of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Remain solid on the rock. Solid on the rock is a sermon. And it's in my book, The Personification of Beauty. Let me see. I quoted it in my um, introduction. But if you remain solid on the rock, keep, keep your calm, keep your cool, as everything is manifesting for you. As everything is manifesting for you, and even if it's a heavy burden for you right now, and you keep calm, and you keep your cool, and keep working towards your goals, it's going to work out for you. You may even, like, for you and your partner. This is more of abundant new beginnings, security, solid foundation in who you are, solid foundation in your work, career, business, relationship, and your life, period. So keep going. I'm telling you, a miracle is manifesting. I think that, you know what, that's enough. That's enough. You got success. You got miracles. You got... Look at it from a different point of view. It's really working out for you. Alright, so now I'm going to... And I don't even mean... I'm just getting to the point with um, 
earth signs because I've been doing readings all night and I'm actually kind of tired now. <sighs> I was thinking about just going live as I'm watching TV today. If I have time to watch TV, I'm kind of tired. And I have errands. I have gym body orders that I need to go to the post office and mail, which shouldn't be much. I just need to mail them out and update them on my website so we can send out emails, confirmation emails. Um, I have I get my son from school. I have a meet. I have to meet up with a girlfriend of mine, a spiritual girlfriend of mine, so we can go. We got some spiritual stuff to talk about. She want to talk about, you know, you know, we don't always have people who are like us, who resonate with us and, and what we do to talk to. So we just want to talk about it, being an empath and how do we deal with it and things of that sort. So good girl, girl talk we have. And what else do I have to do today? I need to sleep. I need to go to the gym and I need to make my soup. But I don't know if that's going to happen. And today is, and the 29th is a Kabbalistic New Year, guys. I didn't mean to go off on a tangent with my schedule. But um, the Kabbalistic New Year is coming. That's the year of new beginnings. That That's um, new beginnings. So we should be manifesting. This is a good energy to manifest. Spirit, the, my daily energy reading today was manifestation as well. So... Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> okay, so what did I say I was doing second? Taurus. We got joy and we got impasse. We've been made doing it the night, but joy is coming in the morning. I don't know. I just got that. We've been made endure for the night, but joy is coming up in the morning. Impasse. What's done is done. This card can indicate the end of great emotional upset. The power to change direction for the better is supported in rest. Your angels appear to protect you in the long run. This is a detour, not a no. Be in the here and now. Things will change. Go where you are led for now. Didn't I just say we've been waiting to do it for the night with joy coming in the morning? That's crazy. That's not crazy. That's, that's intuition. That's alignment. I knew it. I knew it. Let me see. What you got for now? Two blue out of my hand. Oh. So you're trying to build, but you feel stagnant. So you feel all tied up with something that you wanted to build with or someone you wanted to build with. Two of cups. Could be in, in love. Yep. Okay. So it says the end of a great emotional upset. So this is about love or something that makes you very emotional. Um, so you're trying to build with someone potentially and you feel stagnated you feel like you're not progressing this too shall pass but i'm not disregarding your feelings so let me pull some more um i need some i'm, I'm gonna use another deck but i'll use this okay Ooh. It's 10, 10, where you been? Did you get my message? I don't know why I've been channeling, I've been channeling a lot of songs lately. Uh, let me look this up, because I want to play it. It's 10, 10, it's Gene Wine's song. I don't know, y'all must be going through something. They said it's emotional. Where you been? Did you get my message? That's so anxious. I want to hear these lyrics. I just want to see the lyrics right quick. Oh, are you? Are you tired of being lonely? All right, you're tired of being lonely. Y'all gonna have to listen to So Anxious on your own time. Maybe you're tired of being lonely. Uh, something ended. 
Maybe you are ready to enter a new phase of life with somebody, come together. You're ready for a partner. You're ready for bigger and better. Yeah, you're ready for a partner and you're ready to enter the next phase of life and it's not happening for you. You're trying to build and come together as a couple, but it's not happening for you. Maybe you broke up. Guess, right, guess what's right under there? 10, 10, 10. Lots of 10s. You're completing something. Again, weeping man doing bright night joy coming in the morning. This is an impasse. This is an impasse. This is not, um, this is a detour. This is not a no. This is just preparing you for the next phase. You're completing a cycle. So whatever's happening right now is, is ridding you of things that no longer serve you. You're getting rid of the O, out with the O, in with the no. This is just a part of your life phases. This is a part of life. This is not the end of the world. You, more is to come. More life is to come. It's all going to work out for you. You just may be going through something right now. Maybe someone made a decision. Um, the King of Pentacles is, yeah. You know Taurus is in their status and Taurus is in their um, money. Bigger and better is coming. And with the um, Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck, you definitely get the fulfillment that you desire as a, in, in your family life um, and in life in general. Maybe you're 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 unfulfilled right now, but it'll get better. Uh, yeah, um, y'all, you cannot make this shit up. Double tens, double tens, another ten. You going through a major completion of a cycle right now. It's like I said, it's bringing you justice. It's getting you back. You'll get your justice. You'll get the things that you put out. You Like, if you feel like you've been trying to build and you've been putting in the work and you're not getting back what you put out there, maybe in a partner, maybe in life, period, you're going to get it. Justice is right around the corner. You're completing this cycle. You're out. You're ending things that no longer serve you. And, and even if you're not doing it intentionally, it's happening because it's opening the door for bigger and better. Yeah, because you want fulfillment. You will definitely get it. Justice, you'll definitely get justice for all the energy that you're putting out there. It won't, it won't be for a reason. Trust me, you'll learn from this season. You'll grow from this season. Um, and it's almost over. It is almost over. This literally impasse said the end of a great emotional upset. It's almost over because it's time for better. It's time for bigger, and it's time for better. Yep. A partnership of evil give and take is on the way. With the Six of Pentacles, that's like a partner who gives and receives as much as they give. You're receiving as much as you give. You're receiving as much love as much as you give out. You, you, financially, in, in career, and in love, and money, and life, you'll get what's supposed to come to you. So make sure you're putting out positive energies and positive vibes like you have been. It'll come back to you. Yeah, you lost something. It's two fives in here, too. Five plus five is ten. No lie. Two fives. Yeah, you, you were trying to... You were working very hard on something with the eight of pentacles. And you got the seven of pentacles and you got the six of pentacles. You were take, you were putting in the necessary steps. You were taking the necessary steps to make... It's causing my computer to mess up. That's what it is. I'm going to have to unhook that printer off from my computer and I think it'll stop freezing up. But anyway, with this eight of okay, with this eight of pentacles, you're working hard towards something, and it's it could be this connection, and um, it just wasn't coming together for you. But you'll get justice. Perhaps you feel you have a feeling of loss and lack. You have a feeling like you feel disadvantaged. With the Five of Wands, the Seven of Swords, and the Five of Cups, it's a feeling of victim mentality almost. You feel like the victim, like things don't go your way, like um, things are being taken away from you and people are being taken away from you. You it, It's internal conflict and turmoil, a feeling of loss, a feeling of lack, a victim mentality. But computer giving me a hard time. But it's not good to be in a, a mentality of... Um, of a victim. Things will work out for you. Don't worry. You'll get justice. Um, keep doing you. Putting out good energy. Working towards your goals. Whatever it is you're working towards. It's partnership.
It's not the end. It's not the end. More is to come. Yeah. With the Page of Cups and the Two of Pentacles, I feel like this is a partnership that's more balanced. A romantic offer that's more balanced. Instead of you just putting all the energy and sometimes we're in this energy of things being taken away from us. It's because we're allowing that because we're giving and giving and giving and giving and we're not receiving. But you have to know that you're an active participant. When you're giving and giving and giving and, and, and not receiving, you're an active participant in that exchange. You're allowing yourself to deplete. You're, you're allowing yourself to be taken from, you know, when you participate in that energy. When you realize it's not a partnership or a romantic offer or a romantic situation that is equal give and take, you have to remove yourself from the situation, not because you're petty, but to protect yourself against depletion, to protect yourself against imbalance, to protect yourself against this feeling of victim mentality of something, someone taking advantage of you. You don't have to be taken advantage of, and you don't have to allow yourself to be taken advantage of, because this is certainly, this is certainly the energy of being taken advantage of. But you'll get justice. No worries. You'll get justice, Taurus. In the end, you win. You'll get justice. I love saying that. In the end, you'll win. Because it's true. You know who got your back, spirit. You got divine guides working towards a soulmate connection for you right now. It's better as being is manifesting right now spirit of the lord god your divine guides whatever you believe in, is working towards your ancestors whatever working towards a connection right now that's why they said this is not an end for you that's why the impasse card came it's like this is you and you got all these tens it's almost the end of a great emotional upset because joy We've been being doing for the night, but joy is coming in the morning. And you're very close to being joyful. You're very close to this partnership of equal give and take that you desire. You're going to get what you put out. You're going to, it's your turn to receive. I'm not doing this. This computer keeps crashing. I'm going to leave it at this and go on to Virgo and be done with this. I'm getting so irritated. But anyway, this partnership that is manifesting, it's going to be one where you get the recognition you deserve. Maybe like words of affirmation is something that you like. Um, you'll definitely get that. It's going to be solid. It's going to be secure. It's going to be stable. It's going to be nurturing. You won't have to worry about being left behind you won't have to worry about being misused and abused because this partnership is going to be one that's powerful one that's solid one that matches you one that gives you as well as receive it's going to be much better than what it has been so no more worries take up for yourself sometimes when we're just taking up for ourselves we withdraw our energy from someone so instead of giving, 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 you withdraw your energy because you know the energy you've been putting into whatever it is doesn't deserve it or whoever it is didn't deserve it. So standing your ground sometimes is removing yourself from a situation and withdrawing your energy. Withdraw that grief too because you know that a better partnership is festering, like God is manifesting a better partnership for you, your, your guides, your divine and the, the universe is manifesting this better partnership for you, there's no need to be sad about it. There's no need to be withdrawing your anxiousness. You know, you probably feel that things are about to complete. You, you know that you're completing, you're ending in new beginnings. Maybe that's why you're so anxious. But withdraw that feeling of lack, withdraw that feeling of desperation. It's all good. We've been, it's, joy comes in the morning. And it's going to come quick. And it's going to be powerful. It's going to be quick and powerful. All right. Um, with my computer crashing so much, I need to just finish um, Virgo. I don't mean it. I'm going to do Virgo. I'll do Virgo first next time. So, because I feel like I'm about to, I don't want to shortchange anyone. But my computer is messing up and it's irritating me. It's 6.34. My son has to get ready for school. Um, so, yeah.
fighting back negative thoughts myself. Don't want to waste my time. I've been up all night doing readings. But I did need to clear my energy. So, anyway, Virgo, we're going to do you this now. And I'm done for a while. Spirit about Virgo, Gabby, anyway. these cards out real quick so I can do Virgo. I'm really done with it. I've been channeling a lot of music lately. Alright Virgo, if you're just clicking on here or if you time stamped it here, remember Tarot is not a dictator. Tarot is a guide. Take this as it resonates, as it pertains to content, and as it pertains to time. Remember Tarot is a three-way spirit, me, you, and spirit, meaning it requires you to use your discernment as well. I am not a interpreter. I mean, I am an interpreter, a medium, and I deliver the message, but I'm not going to do it for you. It's like teaching you the lesson or delivering a message, and then you want me to think for you too. No. You have to apply it for your life as well. Some people do that. It happens all the time. It's like they ask a million questions after they're reading. Now, this is not everybody, but this is certain people. I've only experienced it once. But they ask some weird questions after they're reading, but really they have to decipher the code. It's something missing within their intuition that has the inability to understand. So, anyway, Virgo, let's pull some oracle for you and see what you get. So much going on in the world. I'm going to ignore the world this weekend and I'm going to focus on creating. Virgo, we have vanity, we have impatience, and we have, well, something wanted to show itself. Creation, and we have joy. What is this? Good thing you got joy on the bottom of the deck. You went for um, Taurus, but Taurus didn't have joy on the bottom of the deck. But um, you have impatience and you have vanity, both blue cards. The blue cards are for, for the Chakraism Oracle card deck. Communication. So maybe there's some communicating that you need to do. But, of course, we know what impatience is. Your desire to create may overpower the necessity of aligning with divine timing. The time to shine will come. Move with the energy and not in front of it. Being present has its own reward. I understand that. I understand wanting things to manifest, really. You, I get it, Virgo. We ready for shit to pop off. We are. We put it in the work and we're ready. The t and vanity is the tenuous balance between what is true in our heart and what we communicated is reflected in aqua. Are you living and communicating your truth or just playing alone? This may be a time of awakening to a new way of being. Be aware of distractions may that may pull you away from the true you. Okay. So, I know what that is. Sometimes when we're in uh, anxiousness, we're losing patience and we're ready for things to manifest, especially as it pertains to things that we're creating, it's because maybe we're distracted by something else. We want to go ahead and divine timing, even though we know that it's not good for us because we're so distracted by bills. We're distracted by responsibilities. We're distracted by past due statements. We're distracted by life. Like some things in um, this world, worldly life, distract us from the bigger picture. But spirit is saying, look at the bigger picture. Don't force it. Live in the moment. Be okay with where you are for now. Work on what you have now. Be grateful for what you have now. And be grateful for the time and the energy and the focus that you have now. And the time period in your life, you're not going to get it back. So be grateful for it, knowing that things are manifesting. And don't let the opposition distract you and put you in the energy of anxiousness. So put you in the energy of impatience. Yep. And I was preaching to myself too. Because I understand that. I really do. Because I'll be ready to get the fuck ASAP. And my and black China mama voice. <laughs> I'll be ready for things to manifest too. But no, things are gonna work out in its in the due time. No matter how anxious you are, it's not gonna rush you. It's only uh, make it take longer. So, we have the lovers and we have Ace of Pentacles. Oh, 
What are you anxious for? Is this love? What are you impatient for? It's an opportunity or something. It's, it's something, maybe it's a love offer that you're impatient for. Lots of people waiting on love. What's going on? Maybe it's a divine partner. Maybe it's your twin flame that you're waiting on. It's your twin flame. It's your twin flame. That's exactly what it is. You're getting impatient with your twin flame. I don't even know why I have this $2,000 computer for it to keep messing up. But anyway, it's your twin flame that you're losing patience with. Okay, I knew it was something. But the offer is coming. The cup of love is coming. Have faith. Yep. Inner emotions are... Inner emotions is growing. Um, it's all manifesting. But... Be, it manifests beneath the surface before it manifests above the surface. Don't worry. It's coming. Stay patient. It's coming. That's why it's about your true self. Look at this. That's why it's about being your true self. Once you find that balance within your true self, the, partner, the partnership manifests as well. Focus on you. While you're waiting, focus on you. When you align your masculine and feminine energies, your twin flame mirrors you. And you draw the attraction of your twin flame. You draw your twin flame near when you become one with your own individual twin. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Focus on you. Computer. Focus on you. And then it starts to manifest quickly. But we have seven of wands energy as well. Sometimes seven, I'm sorry, seven of swords energy. Sometimes the seven of swords is overcoming the obstacles along the way of the connection. Maybe the obstacle is you. Your ability to balance the dualities of yourself. Calm down. The King of Cups and the Knight of Wands. It's like calm down. I think that's just saying calm down. Get your emotions in check. Calm down. It's gonna work out. Have faith. Have faith. Keep your will in check. Have faith. My computer interrupted me, but I was saying have faith. No worries. It's going to work out. Calm down, have faith. I know you want to shout. I know you want to. It's going to be hard for you not to communicate. It's going to be hard for you not to share your ideas and how you're feeling and your passions. But this is the time for you to work on yourself. This is the time for you to align with your true self. Because, again, doing so draws in your divine partner anyway. This is a twin flame reading for a Virgo. I, I know you're ready. But you gotta relax. Embody the embody the um, patience. Embody the energy of patience. And then it could be because some sort of competition is making you feel this way as well. It could be the competition could be making you want to, you know, communicate in a passionate way. This competition could be making you impatient as well or making you a bit anxious. But relax. Have faith. Faith over everything. I'm just going to pull a little more because my computer keeps messing up. So, and I don't, you know, I have to get my son ready anyway, but it's a shame. Endings and new beginnings. Death. Death is Scorpio energy, but it's also endings and new beginnings. No worries. New beginnings are on the horizon. Wait. That was this. You've done all you can. You've stood up for yourself. Justice will prevail. And now it's time to have faith. I feel like you've done all you can. You've put your energy into it as much as you can. 
Now it's time to have faith. And faith brings justice. Work on yourself. Work on alignment with your true self. Have faith. Focus on you. And it, it draws in your partner, your divine partner. No need to be impatient. It all works out when it's supposed to. And how it's supposed to. You gotta have trust. Without trust, what do you have? You gotta have trust in yourself. Trust in the divine. Trust in the process. Trust in your twin flame. Just have trust. They'll see things the way that they should see it. They'll see you the way they should see you. Just have trust. I'm not taking that. I am taking this though. Don't worry about losing. Don't worry about missing out on something that you're extremely um hmm this is a breakup Some, something broke up six of pentacles even if you and this person broke up before or stopped talking there was a break in communication or even if you feel like you lost this person you didn't lose them you didn't lose them you didn't lose them. Have faith. Four of Cups. Yeah. You felt something was rejected. You feel like you lost them. It, it was. It's something that. Um, yeah. Ten of Swords. Something ended. Something ended. You feel like you missed out on something. Good. Or was rejected by something good. or you, Maybe you have the fear of missing out. Maybe that's what it is. The fear of missing out on something good. That's what faith. That's what a lack of faith, faith is. The fear of missing out. So don't worry about it. It's going to work out. Um, should I pull more? Nope. I'm going to leave it at that. Because my computer keeps messing up. Don't worry about it. Maybe things... Um, doesn't appear the way that it should but it'll work out it'll work out I promise I promise you if you have faith and you submit and work on yourself and um, focus on aligning with your true self things will work out as they should that's what I can promise you it'll work out as it should um, especially if you're putting in the right energy and you're doing the right things and you're focusing on building yourself and, and becoming one with your true self it'll work out for you no worries. It'll manifest quickly. It will. Once you get over this hump. Once you get over this energy of impatience. You'll get justice. You've done, you put in the work, you put in the energy. You'll get justice. Hold your tongue. Hold your tongue and have faith. Hold your tongue. And I'm not saying, um, I'm not saying, I'm saying hold your tongue as a, in, a, in a sense of you've already said what you had to say. You've already done what you were supposed to do. Let it manifest. Don't don't shake up the energy by being impatient. You got this. Remain solid. Have faith. Calm down. The offer will come in. Nobody can take it from you. You you maybe feel like somebody's gonna take it from you. Nobody can take your twin flame from you, especially if you're doing the work on yourself. You can take your twin flame away from yourself by not doing the work on yourself. But once you start focusing on your mirror self and becoming one with your true self, it draws in your divine partner, and nobody can take that. It's, it's universal law. Nobody can take your twin flame from you because it's you. It's literally you. And becoming one with your true self brings it in. And the more you're one with yourself and they're one with themselves, you two come together because you know who you are. And when you see each other, you see, when you see him, you see you. But when you see her, you see you. And I'll let that be the ending. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, subscribing, commenting, guys. I wish you all the best of luck. I wish you love. I wish you light. And I wish you more life. This joy, this ten of swords. Oh my god, another ten on there. The same thing happened with the last reading. Um, with the joy, the ten of swords and the death card. This is more life. New beginnings. Happiness. Things ending to open a door for new beginnings. Alright guys, peace. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to visit AshleyGillard.com. That's A-S-H-L-E-Y-G-U-I-L-L-A-R-D. 
Booking.com to book a tarot reading. You can book a business reading for your business or business idea with an action plan where I'll detail exactly spiritual advice on what you need to make it a success. Or you can book a personal reading with any question that you may have. Again, thanks for your support. I wish you love. I wish you light. And I wish you more life. Peace.